planet Earth, the home of all life as we know it, is facing an enormous challenge. It's going to be eaten up by the sun. But that is first 7.5 billion years from now. In the meantime, we have a global climate crisis on our hands, which I rather want to focus on. We strive towards electrification of transport and industry with electricity from renewable energy sources. This has made the battery market increase rapidly with lithium-ion batteries in the leader seat. Lithium is a limited resource and is concentrated in certain geographical areas in the world. For now, we have large enough supplies, but in the future, we might experience a shortage. Therefore, sodium ion batteries, which I am researching, could be a good alternative. Imagine that this green square is the amount of lithium in the Earth's crust. Then this red square would be the amount of sodium. And if we look at the concentration in seawater, the difference is even larger. Look at this tiny, tiny green dot with lithium. This large difference can make sodium ion batteries much cheaper. So I do use lithium instead of sodium in our batteries today. To understand this, we can simply look at my favorite thing in the world. The periodic table. Sodium is a heavier atom than lithium. It will therefore give less capacity compared to mass. Sodium ions does also have a larger radius. To explain the effect of the larger size of the sodium ions, we need to understand how a battery works on, on the atomic, atomic scale. Here we see some lithium ions relaxing inside the cathode, where they prefer to be. By charging the battery, we can force the lithium ions over to the anode, which is for most lithium ion batteries, graphite. When we want to get some energy back, we just let the lithium ions slide back over to the cathode side. When we instead use sodium, the larger ions does not go into the graphite structure. Therefore, we need another type of anode material. And this is really where I come in. Because when we send sodium into my material, the sodium ions destroy it and make a complete mess. I know this doesn't sound so good, but it actually works. And we can get sodium both into the structure and out again. This works so well that even with sodium ions, we can get significantly higher capacity from my material than for graphite in lithium ion batteries. However, while lithium ion batteries can have stable capacities for hundreds of cycles, the capacity of my material drops quite fast. But I have faith in my material. It is still only in its youth. And if I take good care of it and raise it just like a sun, it has the chance to grow up and become just as stable as graphite, only with more capacity. This is my small contribution towards solving the climate crisis, so that we humans have the chance to develop enough to escape this planet before the sun eats it up.